I've been seeing a lot of Twitch chat controlled games like Twitch Plays Pokemon and Twitch Plays Halo, and I thought they looked pretty cool, except for the fact that they're cooperative. Who the flip wants to be part of a team? I want to be better than everyone else. I want to be first place. I want to be the center of attention. So I set out to make a competitive Twitch chat controlled game. Now the problem with Twitch is that there is a several second delay between when I stream something and when a viewer sees it. So I need to make a game that's playable with a lot of latency. I saw this game Jump King. It's a slow paced platformer with a focus on precisely aimed jumps Fuck. and I thought its style of mechanics would fit really well for a high latency game. So I grabbed some free art assets off itch and this Twitch integration add-on for Godot and set up a simple scene and made so when someone types join in chat, a player character is spawned with their name above it and if they type R or L plus a number from 1 to 10, they will jump right or left with a force based on that number. With just a simple setup, I already had a pretty fun game going where my chat competed to be the first to figure out a winning sequence of moves to reach the end of the level. The main problem with the game at this point was that when you died, it took forever to get back to where you were. So I implemented a jump command queue where people could input a list of jumps to perform and then their character would automatically do them all one after another. This resulted in people completing levels much quicker and also an interesting new secondary game phase. See, I had set up a scoreboard that showed winning players and the number of moves that it took them to reach the end of the level. So now with the jump command queue, once someone won, everyone could copy paste their move list from chat and try to optimize it to get the lowest move count, which would put them at the top of the scoreboard. Someone compared this to golf and I completely agree. Another problem I had was that the game stopped working when too many people tried to play, so I had to put a limit to the number of players who could be in the game at once and also made so if you die you get kicked and have to wait 10 seconds to rejoin so that other people in chat will have a chance to join and play as well. Next I wanted to make levels more dynamic by adding moving elements. I created these moving platforms and to make so players can time their jumps I added a clock that counts from 0 to 5 and when people type in a jump command they can optionally add a clock time onto it and their character will wait and jump when the clock hits that time. The final thing I did was to make a level editor so people can make and share their own levels and also added a blue screen option so streamers can use the game as an overlay. And yeah, that's about it, only took a week to make. I decided to title the game Plat Swarmers, and if you want to play it, I'll be going live on Twitch right after this video goes up. I've been streaming nearly every day on Twitch, and usually open my streams with this game. Also, if you're a streamer and you want to play it on your streams, I've uploaded some builds onto Itch. If you want to make and share levels for it, I've set up a channel on my Discord for that, and I've also put all the source code up on GitHub. Links for everything below.